WordPress is usually used in simple personal or business blogs. But what if you want to use it to build heavy-duty news magazine or journal websites? Well, JupyterX now makes it possible to build super professional news and magazine websites. Let's have a closer look. JetBlock is a plugin that allows you to display blog posts with different layouts using different dynamic modules such as Smart Posts List, Smart Post Styles, Text Sticker, and Video Playlist. Let's start with Text Sticker. I'm going to drag and drop it into my page. There you go. Here I can write title for my widget. This is my title. So, how about showing current date? So simple, isn't it? Let's move forward. And if you want to have a bigger thumbnail, change this option. If you want to show post author, enable this option. There you go. Let's go to slider settings. Here you can enable or disable the typing effect and change typing cursor character. If you want to make it faster, change this option. And you have different kind of arrows. For example, I'm going to select this one. There you go. Let's update the page and let's go to style tab. From container, I'm going to give it a dark background. Now, let's go to current date. I want to make it white and also I'm going to give some padding left and right. Now, let's go to widget title. I want to make it white as well. But I want to give it some background color. How about the red one? And I want to give 20 of padding from all sides. Let's enable title pointer. We have to make it same color as the background and same height and width for the pointer. Now let's go to post this. I want to give some padding as well, right and left, and let's move forward. And here, I want to give a color for my author, which is this one. How about date? Let's make it white as well, and also the link. I want to make it light blue color, and let's change its typography. Let's make it bigger and bolder. There you go. When we are done with this part, let's go to Paging Arrows. In normal format, we can change the arrow's color. And also, I want to make the background transparent. Let's update. And let's have a preview. There you go. Now, let's use Smart Posts List. Drag and drop it into your page. And this is the default format of Smart Posts List. From general, you can write a widget title. For example, I'm going to write Hot News. You can change title tag from here. And if you want to make the first post as featured, make sure this option is enabled. Feature post position can be changed top and left. I want to select it left. Here you can change the maximum width of featured post. I want to make it 50, for example. And the feature post layout can be set on simple and box it. Let's select box it. Let's move forward. And here is the meta, and this is the title. If you want to change meta position, you can make it before title, after title, and after excerpt. I want to make it before title. There you go. You can change the author icon really easy and quickly from this section. And also you can change date icon and comment icon. Now, if you want to show post terms, make sure this option is enabled. This is the terms. It can be read from category or tags. It's up to you. Now, we have one column and three rows here. I want to change it to two columns and keep the number of rows on three. 
There you go. Now let's change the post image maximum width from 50 to 30. And if you don't want to have excerpt for the posters, just simply remove this. Okay. And I want to change uh, meta position for posters as well. I want to make it before title. So I select this one. I don't want to show terms for my posters, so I do not enable this. So let's go to style tab. And let's go to heading. I want to make the title a little smaller. So how about making it 18? And I want to make it bold. All right, that's enough for title. Let's go to feature, which is this one. And I want to change post title color. I want to make it white. And let's change its typography. Choose Poppins as font family and 20 as size. I want to give it some weight and also let me make it capitalize. All right, let's go forward. And here we have post text. Let's change its color. I don't want to change its typography actually right now. And how about post meta? Let's change its color to white as well. Here you can change meta icon size as big as you, as you want. So I want to make it 15, for example. You can change meta icon gap here. And you can change meta divider. For example, this character. And you can play with divider gap. Let's go to featured terms links, which is this one. I want to give it some padding. Let's do something like this. And I want to change its background color to green, for example. And the text color will be white. And let's go to hover. Change its background. Now, let's go forward and let's give it some margin. How about 10. You can give it border radius if you want. And let's go to a post which related to these posters. Let's click on it and let's change the title color. I want to make it black. If you want the decoration on hover, I want to use, for example, underline. You can simply use this option. And how about post text color? Let's make it this color. You can change its typography. Of course, now let's go to post meta. You can change its icon sizes. I want to make it 13. And let's give it some color for text color and also for link color. Let's change the typography. I want to change font size to 12. Okay, almost done. Let's update and let's have a preview. Okay. There you go. Now let's use smart poster styles. Drag and drop it into our page from content tab and from general we have access to nine different layouts. I want to select this for example. Here I can change minimum height. I want to change it to 500. And just like Smart Posters list, the Smart Posters Times has same options to show or hide terms, meta, author, date. So I'm going to skip it and I want to go to Style tab. Here we can change the gap between boxes. Now let's go to Content. And here I want to change the title color. As you can see, all the titles get effect from this side. Now I'm going to change the typography of title and make it bigger let's make the alignment left now i want to change post text i want to make it white as well and align left let's go to meta and we can change its color as well now let's go to terms links and here we go we are going to make its background color red let's change the text color to white and let's give some 
or the radius. And of course, we can change the text color and background color on hover. Let's make it black. Okay, let's update and have a preview. There you go. Of course, you can always go back to Content tab and change the layout. For example, I want to select this. How about this one? What about this one? Updates and have a preview. Great, right? Now let's use video playlist, drag and drop it into your page. And here you can change your video title and also insert your video URL. I just want to make some copy of the same video. And there you go. Let's go to settings. Here you can change playlist height. You can change the orientation of thumbnails from vertical to horizontal. For example, if I select horizontal, the thumbnails will be like this. So I want to put it back to vertical. You can change heading text, which is this one, and also the heading icon. For example, I want to change it to this. And there are other options that you can play with. Now let's go to Style tab. And here you can change the canvas background. You can change thumbnail background. And uh, also let's go to thumbnail styles. And let's go to background on hover. I want to change the color to this one. Let's update. And let's have a preview. There you go.